So time for the Fox Hunters next then. A three and a quarter mile race over the exact same trip as the Gold Cup. And it's still raining on the top one is Yeoman Spirit Alex Cherry. Taught Leon, Derek Hinton, Streets of War, Darren Howes, Muscle Hill, Carl Aragante, Mighty Dev, Alex Cherry, Johansson, Carl Aragante, Disney's Nightmare, Stu Gray, Brace for Impact, Graham Clutterbuck, Silver King, Darren Howes, Phantasmagoria, Obi-Wan, Jamaican Ride, Stu Gray, Heather Oscar, Doug Warren, Excellent, Dan Doug Warren, and Carousel, Martin Leadham. So 14 of them then, in what used to be referred to as the Amateurs Gold Cup. A quick aerial sweep of the track. And they're all lined up, ready to go, you can see. There we go. And away and racing then. And straight on to Jockey Cam with Yeoman Spirit. As they race down towards the first. And it would appear they were all safely over that one. And now racing down to the second, which will be the last in a couple of circuits time. And they were all over that one as well. Get a view from the stand. See the two people braving the showers, standing out in the rain. Horses sweep left handed out on their first full complete circuit. Have two to do, and Johansson is the leader from Heather Oscar in second. Mighty Dev is third, and Muscle Hill fourth. Talk Leon's after that one. The back marker early on is Carousel. Looks like we're getting the view from the inside of the track for this race again so over we go that's the third the first one we've seen properly and they're all safely over it with Johansson the leader Heather Oscar second stable companion next let down in third and mighty Devon talk Leon as they come to the water and we'll skip over that one with the two in the orange colours at the back Carousel and Silver King Johansson setting a steady enough pace in front with Heather Oscar second and there's a fall of there, something's gone, it's Muscle Hill. So Muscle Hill's out, and that's Carl Arigante. And he's still got the leader. Uh, Johansson's in front then over the sixth, and I think something else went there as well. It did, Heather Oscar's gone. So that's two out now then. Both trainers though have got a second runner in the race. Doug Warren's Heather Oscar just departing there. But it's Johansson that leads from Brace for Impact in second. Mighty Devers in third. Excellent down is four. And then Talk Leon is five. Disney's Nightmares after that one as they take that ditch. And they all got over that one okay. With Silver King and Carousel continuing to bring up the rear. And Brace for Impact has now come through to take the lead. So taking that next plane one then. I've got over that one okay. A bit of a sticky jump from Streets of War. But Brace for Impact is the leader. Disney's Nightmares move through into second place. Then comes Talk Leon. Johansson's just been given a bit of a breather. Then comes Phantasmagoria and Excellent Dan. After that one, Jamaican Rod trying to get a bit close, but he's going wide on the outside. That's the horse going for the unprecedented sixth consecutive pull up. The record that he doesn't want to get. And Brace for Impact. Continues to lead with just a little bit more than two miles still to go. Took that one slow as a fall away. Something's gone. Disney's nightmare's gone. So that's one of Stu Gray's gone there. Still got Jamaican ride in the other colours. And Johansson, who was the early leader, is now tailing off. So I think something may be amiss with that one. So a bit of bad luck there for Carl Ariante. He's going to have both of his runners out of the race before they start on the second circuit. I would think. So Brace for Impact then continues to lead from Excellent down in second. Luke Swartz of company for those two. And Jamaican Ride with Talk Leon as they take that one. Then Mighty Devon Silver King. Then Yeoman Spirit and Phantasmagoria. Carousel and Streets of War. The back to Johansson has indeed been pulled up as they take what will be the last on the next circuit. They will swing there left handed. And Brace for Impact with a comfortable lead but just being pestered a little bit by that loose horse will become an issue later on but he's in the lead at the moment by about four lengths mighty devers move through to second on the inside of jamaican ride then comes silver king who's made good ground as well then after that one is talk leonix let down phantasmagoria and yeoman spirits also getting a mention there as they take the next and all over that one they go with Brace for Impact, the leader by four lengths. Mighty Dev, Silver King, 
the first of the Darren Howells horses. His other one is Streets of War. I think he's the only trainer that's still got two standing as they take the water. And over that one they go. And brace for impact. A brave name for a National Hunt horse, isn't it? As they take the next. If I was a jockey and they said to me, ride a horse called Brace for Impact, I might be tempted to say it's all right, I'm busy that day, thank you. And oh, that might be why it's called that, because the jockey did have to brace himself for impact there, because he went right down on his nose, and he must have thought that uh, he was going to meet the Cheltenham turf at 35 miles an hour. But um, still in the plate and pushing along in the lead. As they come to this big ditch, jumps that one much better. All over that one, okay, with. Yeoman Spirit now the back marker. But it's Brace for Impact in front from Excellent Down Mighty Dev. Silver King. Carousel's made eye catching progress around the outside. The Greys appear to be struggling a little bit. Talk Leon dropping back. Phantasm Agora's never really got into the race yet. Streets of War after that one. Jamaican Riders now beginning to struggle. And Yeoman Spirit's the back marker. But Brace for Impact is still the leader. Now Talk Leon starts to run on again as they come down to the 19th. And over that one they go. Uh, they've now got just three more to go. And Brace for Impact is the leader. Streets of War, Talk Leon. Excellent Dan. And Silver King. Uh, Phantasm Agoria trying to get into it as Mighty Dev hits a flat spot. As they take that next one, Carousel's run seems to have petered out pretty quickly. Uh, Mighty Dev's lost its place. Drake and Rod still going at the back. But it's Brace for Impact, now joined by Phantasm Agoria. Talk Leon back in third with Streets of War. They've just got two more fences to jump as they race into the straight. And Phantasmagoria and Brace for Impact are having a battle for the lead. They're being chased by the two Darren House horses, Streets of War and Silver King. Then Talk Leon and Excellent Dan. It's between these over the second last they go. Phantasmagoria goes a length clear. Brace for Impact starts to rally. Then comes Silver King and Streets of War. Excellent Dan's running on one pace to come to the final fence. Over it they go. Much better jump by Brace for Impact. And Brace for Impact puts his head back in front again. Brace for Impact and Phantasmagoria racing into the final third off. Phantasmagoria on the near side. The Grey Horse. Brace for Impact on the final side the two Darren Howells horses trying to close but Phantasm Agoria looks to have this one as they race up towards the line one last burst from Brace for Impact Phantasm Agoria is holding him on and up to the line Phantasm Agoria takes it from Brace for Impact Streets of War Silver King talk Leon after that and Phantasm Agoria takes it for Obi-Wan and Brace for Impact second for Graham Clutterbuck Streets of War for Darren Howells was third he took fourth as well with Silver King talk Leon fifth for Derek Hinton the win for Phantasmagoria and Obi-Wan.